Hi friends, uh, we are again together after a long time and uh, we will learn discrete mathematics in this term with you and hope my videos will help you to, uh, to develop your uh, background in mathematics and also in computer science. And let's start, what is discrete mathematics? Discrete mathematics is the part of mathematics and devoted to the study of discrete objects. Here, discrete means consisting of uh, distinct or unconnected uh, elements and the kind of problems solved um, using discrete mathematics uh, include how many ways are there to choose a valid password on a computer systems or uh, what is the probability of winning a lottery, for example, or how uh, can I identify spam email messages, or how uh, many valid internet addresses are there. And um, so you will learn the discrete structures and techniques uh, needed to solve problems such as this. And there are several important reasons for studying discrete mathematics. First, though this, uh, through this course, you can develop your mathematical maturity, that is your ability to understand and create mathematical arguments. And you will not get very far in your studies in the mathematical sciences without these skills. And uh, I would like to start this chapter uh, with um, propositional logic and uh, the, re and the rules of uh, logic specify the meaning of mathematical statements. And so um, let's start uh, with introduction. Let me share the screen and we will start. Okay. So discrete mathematics proposition, we will uh, start with propositional uh, logic. Okay, a proposition is a declarative sentence. That is a sentence that declares a fact that's either true or false, but not false. Um, remember that a proposition can be either true or false, but not false. Here is the first uh, example. Um, let me annotate. Um, okay, so. Uh, all the following declarative sentences are propositions. Uh, here is the first. Washington is the capital of the United States of America. And Toronto, our second uh, sentence is Toronto is the capital of Canada. And one plus one is two, our third sentence. And uh, two plus two is three. So uh, let's find out um, is this declarative sentences, are these declarative sentences propositions or not? Uh, or are they true or not? Uh, Washington is the capital of United States. So this is true. And the third one, one plus one is two. Yes, this is also true. So third one and the first one are true. Uh, and Toronto is the capital of Canada, you know, it, it's false. And let me change, how can I change the, okay, the color. Toronto is the um, capital of United, um, of Canada. This is false. And the this statement, this sentence is also false. Two uh, plus two is three. This is four. The answer is actually four. So one and uh, three are true. Two and four are false. You know, uh, all these um, four sentences, we can uh, say that this is true or false. So it means that and these are, um, these sentences are propositions. Uh -huh. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Example two, C 
consider the following sentence. Uh, what time is it? Can we say uh, yes or no? No, this is not propositions because this is not declarative sentence. Or um, second one, uh, read this carefully. Can, can we answer this um, yes or no? No. This is uh, also not a proposition because this is not declarative sentence also. Sentences, sentence three, x plus one uh, is two. Uh, and the first one, x plus y is equal to z. Let me again annotate. Uh -huh. This, x plus one is two, x plus y is z. Uh, can we uh, say this is true or false? No, because this is not declarative sentence uh, again. So uh, they are neither true nor false. We uh, should um, solve these problems in order to find X and Y. And can you um, imagine the difference between prepositions and um, not propositions, how can I say? Okay, so I think it's clear for you. If we can say yes or not, this is propositions. If we cannot say yes or not, it is not proposition. Um, let me... clear the old drawings. And again, uh, compound statements. Uh, we now turn our attention to methods for producing new propositions from those that we already have. Many mathematical statements are constructed by combining one or more uh, propositions. And uh, new propositions called um, compound propositions are formed from existing propositions using logical operations. So what are logical operations? We now will learn uh, the logical operations. Here uh, is included um, negation, conjunction, disjunction, and etc. We will learn it here. So first definition, let P be a proposition. Okay, it means that we can say yes or not to P. Uh, the negation of P denoted by, um, look to the sign, please, uh, this sign, okay, this sign. Or you can write it like that, negation. Okay, uh, denoted by uh, P is the opposite of the trust value of P. It means that if P is true, the negation of P should be false. Uh, what did I mean? Let's find out. Okay, example, fight the negation of proposition. Uh, example is today is Friday, yes? Today is Friday. The solution is if we want uh, to find out the negation of this sentence, it, it, today is Friday. Yes, today is Friday. And we want to find the negation. The negation is today is not Friday. Okay. Um, here is the, let me annotate again. Today is Friday. If we include here not, look please, not, uh, the sentence is the opposite of the first sentence, yes? So um, we find the negation of first sentence. The, today is not Friday. Let's clear all the drawing. Please, if you have any question, uh, ask me below, uh, below the comment. I'll answer it. And so this table, this, um, this table display and displays the trust table for the negation of a preposition P. Uh, this table has a row, let me annotate again. Look please, here are the 
rows, rows and columns. Yes. Uh, this table has a row for each of two possible trust values of a proposition P. Uh, the first row for proposition P is true. The second row is false. If uh, the first row is true, uh, so the negation of true is here, false. And the negation of false is true. And this table has a row for each of the two possible trust values of a proposition P. Each row shows the trust value of negation P corresponding to the trust value of P for this row. And I think it's clear. Yes, any unclear parts, please uh, let me know. Okay, let's continue. Conjunction, our second operation on um, our second operation on uh, propositions in order to uh, construct compound propositions. So conjunction, uh, let P and B be propositions. Let's find out what is conjunction. Okay, here uh, we have P and B. Okay. Um, let me annotate. Can you see the screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let P and Q be propositions. The conjunction of P and Q denoted by uh, by this sign denoted by this sign is a proposition. P and Q. It means that the conjunction PQ is uh, true when both P and Q are true and it's false otherwise. What does it mean? If P, look, P is true, Q is also true. The conjunction of P and Q, the result is true. But uh, any of, if any of them is false, look please, P is true, but Q is false. Here our answer is false. Or uh, P is false, Q is true. Again, answer is false. Or both of them are false, their answer is, is again false. What is the difference between them? If Look, please, I'll um, write it in with another color. P and Q are true. And the answer is true. Otherwise, the answer is false. And uh, let's continue. Example, for example. Uh -huh. Consider the following four statements. The first one is, ice floats in water and two plus two is four. Yes, ice floats in, in the water and two plus two is false. Here uh, you see there are two, and there are two statements. First one is the float water, uh, the ice floats in water, the first one. And the second one is two and two is four. The second one, second statement is this. Uh, and the conjunction between them is and. You see, here is and. So, first statement is true, second statement also is true. Uh, it means that uh, this first uh, proposition is compound proposition because uh, two of them are true. So, the second one, the second one, China is in Europe uh, and two plus two is four, you see? This is true, yes, as we say in, in first 
uh, statement. This is true. Two is two is um, um, is equal to four. China is in Europe. Is it true? Of course not. China is not in Europe. So this is false. First statement is false. Second is true. And we say that uh, if if um, any of them is false, so our statement is false. So first one is true, second one is false because first sentence is false here. Okay, ice floats in water. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Ice floats in water. Two plus two is equal to five. It's not true. So, first statement, first sentence, I, I mean, is true. Second is false. So, our result is false. And finally, China is in Europe. We say that it's not true. And two plus two is five. It's also not true. If both of them are false, our statement is also false. So only the first statement is true. Each of the others is false since at least one of its substatements is false. Great, let's continue. Uh -huh. uh, this junction, what is this junction? Uh, let's uh, read the definition. Let P and Q be propositions. P and Q be propositions. The, dis the disjunction of P and Q denoted by this sign, this, this is sign of disjunction, uh, is the proposition P or Q. In this in, um, conjunction, we say P and Q. In disjunction, we say P or Q. And the disjunction P or Q is false when both P and Q are false and it's true otherwise. Uh, let's um, learn it more clearly. So if any of them is true, any of P and Q is true, the answer is true. You see, here this is true. This is false, but one of them is true, so the answer is true. Here is first one is false, second one is true, but we say that or, or this or means that if one of them is true, so our um, answer is true. But here um, in the last row, both two statements, let me uh, write uh, it another color. Both sub uh, statements are false, so our result is also false. You see the difference between disjunction and conjunction? Uh huh. Uh, let's Continue. Uh -huh. Example, consider the following four statements. Let's consider. Okay, first one. Um, ice floats in water. We say that it is true. Two plus two is four. Yes, it's also true. If two statements it is true, of course, our um, result is true. Second one, uh, China is in Europe. This is false, we said. Uh, two plus two is four. So this is false, but uh, two plus two is equal to four. This is true. Uh, we say that in uh, this junction, if uh, at least one of them is true, our result is true. So. Ice floats in water. Yes, we say that it's true. Two plus two is 
five is not true, but one of them is true, so um, hence our result is true. China is in Europe now. Two plus two is five, also no. Uh, both of these substatements are false, so our result is also false. Only the last statement is false. Each of the other is true, since at least one of its substatements is true. And let's um, continue. Please, uh, I mention again, if you have any question, any unclear part, uh, let me know right below in the comment. And let's continue. Algebra of propositions. So propositions satisfy mm, the different laws. And these laws are shown in this table, you see. Uh, the first law is idempotent laws. It means that uh, both the disjunction of P with itself and the conjunction of P with um, itself, both the conjunction and disjunction of P with itself is equal to P. Again, this is idempotent law. So associative uh, law, what does it mean? You see the law P disjunction Q disjunction R is equal to P disjunction uh, Q uh, brace R disjunction R. Again, it's uh, uh, analogically equal to P conjunction Q and R. So the third one is commutative laws. Uh, distributive laws, identity laws, you see uh, involution law, complement laws, and the Morgan's law. Uh, I, um, I recommend you to, uh, to understand these laws clearly, um, read these laws, and you have, if you have any uh, question, please tell me. Uh, we will use these laws in our next uh, lessons, so you, you should uh, learn this carefully. And uh, so, uh, le look please, the negation of true is equal to false. The negation of false is equal to true. Um, the negation of negation P is equal to P again, this is an involution law. Uh -huh. So, read this carefully. And let's continue. Let me clear the drawings. Uh -huh. Definition, let P and Q be propositions. Uh, this is conditional statement. Uh, do you see? Okay, conditional statement. Let um, P and Q be propositional. So what's conditional statement? Let's find out. The conditional statement, uh, we use this sign in order to show the conditional statement, is the proposition if P then Q. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, if it's raining, then I'll um, take my umbrella, okay? Can you imagine if one statement happens, if one uh, event happens, then uh, uh, the second event happens, okay? In order the second event to happen, the first event should be happen, okay? If it's raining, I'll uh, take my umbrella. Okay, the conditional statement is false when P is true and Q is false and true otherwise. We will uh, show example. In the conditional statement, P, Q, P conditional statement, Q, P is called the hypothesis. Okay, or premise. And Q is called conclusion or uh, consequence. Let's see another slide. Mm -hmm. 
A usable way to understand the trust value of a conditional statement is to think of an obligation or a contract. For example, the pledge uh, many politicians make when running for office is uh, many politicians I and mean, many politicians say that uh, if I am elected, then I will uh, lower taxes. Yes, if the people elect the political, uh, he, he or she will lower the taxes. But if, the, uh, if he or she is not elected, then the taxes uh, will not be low. Uh, low. So um, here is the trust table of a conditional statement. Um, so uh, see please, if both of them is true, the answer is true. If first one is true, but the second one is false, the answer is false. Otherwise, otherwise, the answer is true. So let me differentiate. Okay. If first one is true and second one is false, the answer is false. Otherwise, the answer is true. And uh, let me clear the drawings. Okay, example. Let P be the st statement. Maria learns discrete mathematics and let Q be the statement. Maria will find a good job. So uh, can you construct a compound statement? The first one is uh, the P. Okay, the premise is Maria learns discrete mathematics. The conclusion is Maria will find a good job. In order to find a good job, Maria should learn discrete mathematics, okay? So if Maria uh, learns discrete mathematics, then uh, Maria will find a good job, okay? Um, solution. From the definition of conditional statements, we see that when P is the statement, Maria learns discrete mathematics, and Q is the statement, Maria will find a good job. The P, Q represent the statement. If Maria wants discrete mathematics, then she will find a good job. Otherwise, she will not find a good job. You also, if you learn discrete mathematics, you will find a good job by conditional statements. So what is by conditional statement? It is true whenever P and Q have the same trust values and false otherwise. Look please carefully. If P and Q both are the same, both are the same. Look please, both are true or both are false. You see, if P and Q both are uh, the same trust values, have the same trust values, the answer is true. Okay, otherwise, otherwise, if one of them is false or true, if, if they differ, uh, the answer is false. Okay. Please, again, uh, let me know if you have any question, any unclear part. So, uh, the trust table of a negation P, what's this value? Uh, appears in, in table one. Note that the trust value, um, the trust uh, table of negation P, disjunction Q and P, um, Q are identical. Let me, here is a um, missing part. Look please carefully. 
I done something mechanical. Look please, here I wrote a disjunction and conjunction. This is different. Okay, I, I will uh, now check what should it be. Okay, I um, found the mistake here should be disjunction, okay, not conjunction. Uh -huh. uh, negation P, disjunction uh, Q appears in this table. You see P is true, true, false, true in this column. And negation P, if T, P is true, negation P is false. Also, the second, this is true, this is the negation is false. This is false, the negation is true. Also, uh, this is false, the negation is true. So, in the negation P and disjunction Q, this, if there is disjunction between them, we say that the disjunction, the answer of disjunction is true if at least one of them is true. But the answer of disjunction is false if both of them is false. Here is true. If we have at least one true, the answer is true. Also uh, here, the true, true. So the answer of these uh, statements are true. But look at the second one, please. Both of them are false. If two substatements are false, the answer is also false. So the negation of P uh, disjunction Q is false in this table. But look please. P conditional Q, uh, the identical, look please, if we have conditional statement between these two sub-statements, the answer is true, 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 false is false, we say, yes, you remember, if first statement is true, the second is false, the answer is false. False false is true and fa uh, false true is also true. So you see the uh, conditional statement between P and Q and the negation P disjunction Q have the same trust values. Okay, here have the same trust values. So they are identical. They are both false in the second case. Here, here, the answer is false, yes. Also here, the answer is false. Uh, both, uh, all uh, other substatements, uh, all other answers are true. Okay, uh, try to write it uh, yourself it will be more easy uh, to understand. So trust tables of compound uh, propositions. We have now introduced four important logical connective conjunctions, disjunctions, conditional statements, and uh, biconditional statements, as well as negation. Uh, we can use these connectives, uh, connectives to build up complicated compound propositions involving any number of propositional variables. Here is the table, uh -huh. uh, trust table of compound propositions. You see here we have P, Q, um, here we have P, Q. This is their trust values, true or false. Um, the P conjunction Q here, negation Q, P disjunction negation Q, and uh, the implication between uh, these and this statement. 
what did we uh, do in order to construct this statement? You see, we have, uh, let me clear, okay. We um, should find out the trust value of this final statement. Firstly, what did we do? Firstly, we find the, um, this one. Okay, the trust value of this substatement, P and Q. Okay, this is clear. We have learned it. Okay. Uh -huh. Second, you see, here is negation. Second, we find out the negation of Q in order to construct P disjunction negation Q. Yes, we find out this also. Q is true, the negation is false. Q is false, the negation is true, and etc. Third, uh, we construct the P disjunction negation Q, okay, and um, okay, we constructed this one, and we find this one also. And uh, finally, we find them uh, um, this final trust value, this final statement, okay? Uh, let me, it will be like that, conditional. True, true is true. True, false is false. False, false is true, and true, false is, oh, let me, this one, this is, ah, true, false, yes, again, false. If first statement is true and second statement is false, our answer is false. Here we have two false, because first is true here, second is false, again, First is true, second is false. Can you understand uh, the trust uh, table of compound propositions? Because if your answer is not, let me know. Uh, comment below if you have any um, unclear part, any problem. And I think it's, yes, final um, slide. So thank you for watching uh, this video and hope you have, now you have um, any background about what is mathematical analysis. Uh, in our next lessons, uh, I think we will uh, learn it more clearly. You will have an idea uh, what is this, uh, what, uh, what is actually, what do we actually uh, do with these compound statements, okay? Thank you for watching and um, comment below if you have any question. See you next time. Goodbye.